Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and let's talk about my update with my tongue tie release. So um, I told you guys if you've been following my videos, if you're a regular subscriber, that I kind of did this for kicks. I just wanted to know more about tongue ties. I wanted to know about OMT. So I started going through the whole process of it, found out that I like badly need it both. Um, so I actually invested and I'm going to start the process. So what I was informed, and I'm just going to tell you how I've been educated based on what I've read, based on what the specialists are telling me, both my periodontist, my Cairo, and also my own T are all telling me the same thing. So it seems pretty legit. Um, and also the literature I'm reading is saying the same thing. Of course, it depends on the reason that you're doing the treatment. But ultimately, I'm doing this whole trifecta of treatment so that I can eventually get a tongue tie release. Why do I want to get a tongue tie release? Well, evidently my tongue is crazy tied. Um, I have a grade three tongue tie. I kind of always knew I had one, um, but I thought it was never bothering me. But then when I realized what benefits you can have by doing the release, and there's a plethora of benefits, um, I figured it's definitely worth it. Um, so I've done all of my consults. And evidently, I have to go through this whole process in order to stretch the ligaments and te tendons, stretch the tendons, stretch all this. Um, I ha I'm not allowed to go get the tongue tie release done by my periodontist. And, and the cool thing is all three specialists said the same thing. So I feel really confident um, until I can hold this position, which is where you basically have to open and you have to put the tip of the roof of your tongue to the roof of your mouth, right at the rugae, um, for two minutes. But you have, can't just do it and be closed. You have to be fully opened. And right now I can't do that. So if I try to do this up here, my mouth is basically only open like a centimeter. I can't lift my tongue to the roof of my mouth and put it in the right position and or hold it on the second molars in the back, but be totally open at 40 millimeters. So if I want to raise my tongue, my mouth basically almost shuts because I have it's completely tethered down here. So I have to do all this OMT treatment and also chiropractic treatment both because all of this is actually tethered to your neck and all the fascia that goes on your neck. So I have to do all this and all these exercises and all this treatment. It's not just not just the OMT treatment and the chiro treatment. I have to do exercises that go along with it for at least three to four months until I can hold that position for two minutes at least. Whew, this is gonna be really difficult. To me right now, that seems almost impossible, but I'm just starting the process. So my periodontist, who is Dr. Allison Tran in Honolulu, Hawaii, and she's amazing, um, highly recommend her. She does not have a whole bunch of social media, so you won't find her if you look. She's not that kind of periodontist. She's just really, really, I mean, she's into perio, but she's also just into airway, but she's just not a flashy kind of doctor. A lot of people into airway are like, like to talk about it like me, but she doesn't. So you're not going to find anything if you look her up. However, if you do travel to Hawaii a lot and you're looking for a legit affordable periodontist who has tons of experience in both infant and adult tongue tie releases, she is your person. And I thought her fee, and it wasn't like her regular fee was quite affordable based on the research I had done on real self, real self and other places. Of course, I'm not getting sedation or anything like that. I'm just doing it, but, um, it was very affordable. I mean, you'd probably have to do at least two visits to Hawaii to see her, uh, one for the consult, and then you'd have to prep and come back when you're ready. Um, but I mean, based on the price that she was doing, some things in Hawaii are actually cheaper than they are in the rest of the mainland. And some things in Hawaii are more expensive than they are in the rest of the mainland. And for some reason, like a lot of medical and dental stuff is cheaper. I don't know why. Even ortho is so cheap. No wonder why I'm not practicing here. I don't want my own practice here because they don't make any money. So um, make way more in the mainland. So anyways... Hope you guys found that interesting. I'm super excited to keep you posted. I'm starting my exercises. So I go to my chiropractor twice a week because I guess there's a lot of alignment issues and asymmetries and it's all the fascia that connects this, connects in your neck. And I guess if you see my other videos on the chiropractic um, kind of relationship to tongue ties, it's directly related. 
So a lot of things we have to do to loosen up the fascia, um, to get things stabilized, to get the symmetry back in order so that when we do the release, first of all, that she can do it. Second of all, that it's successful and that your tongue doesn't just fall down the back of your mouth and stuff like that. So if I'm saying something wrong and y'all disagree, I'm really looking forward to hearing your feedback. This is what I've researched and this is what I've been told. So this is what I'm doing. But it is a total rabbit hole. I'm really, really excited to learn more about it. It is an investment. I'm not going to give you guys the exact prices because perhaps I negotiated something different. And I hate to give prices that physicians and, you know, MDs and, and other people and DDSs and OTs charge because my situation may not be your situation, right? So, but I can tell you that Cairo is the biggest investment and that is not covered by my insurance my insurance does cover Cairo, but i guess it doesn't cover this doctor at this kind of Cairo. but i can super bill it at the end and it probably will get partially self-propagate partially reimbursed but i need a specialist type of chiropractor not a back chiropractor it's a neck chiropractor so it's different um you don't want someone who doesn't know what they're doing messing with your neck right because you can see that with the vertebral vertebral artery and that's really really bad so um yeah, that's the most expensive. Secondarily would be the OMT. And then the tongue tie release is actually quite affordable. That was the least of my worries. So um, yeah, this is a big, big, big investment this year for me for 2022. But making a lot of content about it. I'm learning a lot. I'm really excited. And also, if all goes well, I should be able to cut back on a lot of my masseter Botox, which I'm already dropping close to three grand a year on that for pain relief of jaw pain, which for me is asymmetric it's only on the left side which is weird because i have a lot of deviations um so i can drop that that will be that'll save me a lot of money if i can just do it once a year or even less um this will pay itself off in just a couple years hopefully not to mention having less pain um hopefully having less speech issues which i struggle with a little bit and have ever since i've been little um when i talk i don't know if you hear it but i really really have to focus how i say my words if i'm tired um, a lot of times I'll lisp and I'll say where it's wrong just because of my tongue tie. Um, what else? So it'll help with pain. It'll help with speech. It's supposed to help with sleep and airway. I wouldn't really know. I have had an OSA exam done. It was inconclusive. They didn't really find anything, but I don't sleep great. <laughs> Those of you who work with me know I'm up at all weird hours. So you guys are always laughing. Why are you always up? Well, because I don't sleep. So, um, hey, if it can get me a little more sleep, I'm always up for that. That sounds awesome. So, yeah, super psyched. So hopefully I'll have this procedure done by summer. That's my goal because I'm really busy this summer. I love to have this done by this summer. And she said that really you're only sore for about a day. Just some resorbable sutures. So pretty psyched. All right. Thanks so much.